to come by in today. We're very fortunate because we have here on our show, see attorney Joe Sias, our regular employment attorney to give us advice. This segment is brought to you by the Law Offices of Joe Sias Jr., lawyers helping employees and consumers. Kasama po natin si Attorney Joe Sayas. Once again, Attorney Joe, thank you for being here. Uh, talakayin na natin itong issue na to kasi uh, marami tayong mga kababayan hindi nakakaintindi. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about peace rate workers. Ano ba ang peace rate workers? Peace rate workers are those um, employed uh, but are paid based on products completed or piece of work completed. Ang mga examples niya na uh, katulad na yung mga um, traveling x-ray technician or phlebotomist paid for every patient that they draw blood from. Or mga auto technicians who service our cars. When we check our cars in the dealerships, mm -hmm. they get paid per car that they have worked on. Okay, so mm -hmm. ito ay mga empleyado na per piece baga yung, yung bayad sa kanila. That's correct. Diba? Okay, uh -huh. so then let's talk about whether they should be paid for work-related travel because alam naman natin palagi silang nag-travel for their right. job. Mm -hmm. At meron ba silang overtime? Yes, they are entitled to overtime. Pero, uh -huh. pero Miss Key, mm -hmm. ang bayaran sa kanila for each product that they are able to complete, mm -hmm. they're yes. still owed? Overtime? Well, if they work beyond eight hours in completing their products, entitled silang mabayaran ng overtime. Yun, yun ang hindi ko alam yes, na yes. gusto kong intindihin, uh -huh. Attorney Joe. Right. I want to understand this. So, is it legal to pay employees by the piece as opposed to paying them an hourly basis? As long as they comply, they, the employers, comply with minimum wage law, it's legal. But Minsan, meron silang mga oras na hindi nababayaran. For instance, yung mga auto technicians, if they were required to be there at the dealership between 8 to 5, and let's say 2 o'clock in the afternoon, nagiintay sila ng kotse. Yung wala pa, oo, oo. Hindi pa sila nababayaran sa isip nila kasi wala yes. pa silang naaayos na kotse. That's correct. So, But kailangan bayaran sila? To the extent that they were required to be there at the dealership, kailangan bayaran sila ng at least... Uh, the minimum wage or whatever the agreed hourly rate is. So on top of the per piece, yes. they also have to get paid per hour? That's correct. Uh, that's correct. Um, minsan nangyari sa isang kaso, kung mga truck drivers for instance, before they can operate the trucks, kailangan inspectionan muna ang mga sasakyan. What's the inspection time? Um, inspection time can be 30 minutes. Dapat mabayaran sila ng 30 minutes na yan. Kasi nagtratrabaho na sila. Miski, ang classification sa kanila ay peace, peace rate. rate employees. That's correct. Okay. They're I'm, still I'm, on the clock when they're doing that. I'm trying to understand mm -hmm. this. Okay, so should peace uh, rate workers be paid for non-productive time? Yun yung pinag-uusapan pin, natin, yes. di ba? Wala silang ginagawa pero nasa trabaho sila. Yeah. Kailangan bayad. Yes. To the extent na... Ang employer ni requires silang uh, they have to they have to be there mm -hmm. at the workplace. They cannot leave the workplace. So to that extent, they're still under the control of the employer. Dapat mabayaran sila. Okay, so sabihin natin kailangan nilang mag-travel. Bayad ba yun? Yun ang nangyari sa isang kaso namin na uh, the traveling X-ray technicians or uh -oh. traveling phlebotomists move from one skilled nursing facility to another. Eh, minsan sa buong araw. For a 12-hour shift, they spend like three hours or four hours traveling from one facility to another. Dapat mabayaran yung oras na yun. Okay, um, at least minimum wage, di ba? At least minimum wage or whatever the hourly rate is. So what remedies are peace workers entitled to if yun na nga, na-violate ang, ang, ang law? Mm -hmm. oh, may karapatang silang mabayaran ng back wages. In this case, yung travel time. Uh, minsan di sila nabibigyan ng meal breaks or rest breaks dahil masyadong marami yung kanilang pasyente o maraming mga ginagawa. Mm -hmm. They go from one location to another. They are entitled to additional wages there. They are entitled to uh, interest. Uh -huh. They are entitled to attorney's fees. In other words, hindi sila magbabayad ng attorney's fees 
the law allows them to recover there is reasonable attorney's fees i see okay and what should these employees have in order na mabayaran sila ng tama ano bang mm. kailangan nilang mga dokumento o mm. alam mo mga, our employees should be smart take a look at the uh, wage statements or pay stubs titingnan kung tama ba nabayaran ba siya for every work completed and nabayaran ba siya sa waiting time nabayaran ba siya sa travel time nabayaran ba siya for cleaning their tools and equipment mm -hmm. uh, dapat yun nabayaran bahan Okay, so you have to be diligent about checking your payslip para kailangan tama. At pag nakita nyong hindi, ano, hindi na tama, yeah. di ba? Yes. Parang, oy, parang kulang to ah. Yes. They have the right to ask. Okay. Payroll or HR. Okay. And huwag silang matatakot uh, magtanong. Well, ang, ang pinaka nakakatakot na sa lahat, pag nakita nilang merong ang discrepancy is... Yeah. Gusto ko ngang may tumulong sa akin, pero yes. wala naman akong perang pangbayad. Paano yun? Well, our law firm uh, received lots of inquiries from mm. our kababayan. Mm -hmm. And we don't charge for that. And once we accept the case, hindi kami naniningil. We only get paid if we win the case or the claim. Well, that's great news for our kababayans kasi yun na nga, yun yung pinaka nakakatakot na uh -huh. yes. ops, ops, may nakikita akong mali dito, yeah. pero... Pwede, pwede ko bang makausap si Attorney Joe? Kasi yes. wala naman akong pambayad dyan. <laughs> Thank you, Attorney Joe, for Thank giving you. that option to our kababayans uh -huh. because it's important that their rights are protected, especially here in America. Oh, we're happy to help them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Know the law. You have rights. Please contact Attorney Joe Sais if you have any questions when it comes to your payslip. Pag may nakikita kayong parang, hmm, di ata tama to, di ba? Uh, his consultations are free. And yun na nga, sabi niya, hindi siya kukuha na kahit na ano hanggang manalo kayo. So that's very good news for our kababayans. Once again, maraming salamat, Attorney Joe, for being here, sharing your knowledge with mm. all of us. Maraming salamat, G. All right. Mm. Thank you very much. At magkita-kita po tayo ulit. Uh, we'll be right back here on Kababayan Today. This segment is brought to you by the Law Offices of Joe Sias Jr., lawyers helping employees and consumers.